This is a certified hood classic. My boy. Yes, it's another day, man. It's another time for Boomdoc. Look, bro, this show is incredible, bro. This show is incredible. I am so sad that they took it off, but look, I am hopeful one day that Huey and Riley can come back and make a new Boomdoc, bro. Wouldn't y'all love that? I would love that. It would nothing be anything compared to the old Boomdocs, you know what I'm saying? But I think that there can be an adult show. Let me make concern. This is Robert J. Freeman, astrophysicist, soccer star, ex-UFC welterweight what? champion. For many of you, this will be the last time hearing from me. Well, as of today, I'm deleting my Facebook account forever. I'm and I'm thinking he was on some other shit. I'm like, no, granddad, no. Well, I've just paid with high hope that it might help me find a woman to love me on those lonely nights when I'm not jetting around the world fighting terrorism. But all you bitches turn out to be bat crazy. Like that bat crazy Carlita, the Dominican drug queen. Oh, shit. An average sized man can smuggle more cocaine in his rectum than you think. What? Or that bat <laughs> crazy Tara who tried to kidnap my grandson Riley. He's just what? adorable. What? I can't give him back. You can't make me. You can't make me. What? And that bat crazy Dr. Ellen Jackson who lured me with promises of romance and free checker and then tried to harvest my organs. Oh, hell no, nah, brother. I would be done with dating online after that, bro. <laughs> From now on, I'm out of the game. Fortunately, I don't blame myself. I blame all of you. I know many of you ladies are saying, no, Robin, you can't take that good loving away from us. Well, it's too late. It's gone forever. <laughs> and so with no regrets, I hereby commit Facebook Harry Carry. They're not going to see it if you delete it. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Delete. Damn. I am the star. Wow. But yeah, I know. Online dating in this day and age can be a bitch, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because people weird as fuck. They do weird shit. I even had my personal online dating experience, bro. And only my homeboy know this a weird ass experience. And it's hilarious. But I'm not gonna tell it to y'all right now because we watching Boom Die. But y'all got, I got to tell y'all one day, maybe on Man, live or this weekly jog was a great idea, wasn't it? Look at us. We're workout buddies. Hey, speaking of buddies, I read your Facebook suicide note, man. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm not just giving up on Facebook. I'm giving up on women. It's pointless. These women out here are insane. Robert, Robert, the key to happiness is to eliminate all black women from your life. I'm oh, shut the fuck up, Ruckus. I mean, look please. at me. No black women in my life. Look how happy I am. I'm oh, happy as a nigga with a new gun. Now, Ruckus, that is <laughs> preposterous. Oh, preposterous. Preposterous. Really, really. Ask me a question. Is you happy? Sure am. Uh-huh. See? No black women in his life neither. Nigga free, and that's how he need to be. Just because I'm married to a white woman doesn't mean there's a single thing wrong with black women. True. Right. But you did marry a white woman. You have to find the woman who makes you happy, Robert. Right. Well, black women don't want to be happy. They squeeze out about seven or eight of them little nappy-headed chillin' by the time they're 21. It's all downhill from there. Look at that. Oh. She's a... <sighs> and we got a close-up of the puss. Ah! Oh, that woman's body over there, that's a temple. A black woman's body is a temple of doom. When was the last time you saw a black woman jogging, Robert? Ask yourself that question. And I ain't talking about them super steroided females in the Olympics that tuck their testicles up either. <laughs> well, come to think of it. Aha, uh -huh, that's what I thought. You ain't never seen. Because black women don't jog. That way they don't sweat out all them industrial strength, toxic Avenger chemicals they use to straighten out their hair. This nigga is like super racist. Like... I don't even think, I think he's more racist than the K to the K to the, to, 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 to the K. You know what I'm saying, bro? I think that nigga is more racist than them, bro. Sarah loves to jog. But well, of course she do. Sarah is a human being. Okay, fellas, oh. enough of the guy oh. talk, jibber jabber, talky talk. Can we just start running already? Come on. <laughs> you come ain't, ain't running with y'all two niggas in the park. Police might shoot me by mistake. <laughs> See you on the other side, running. nigga. Oh. Oh my. Look at the tits. Sorry. Nice and sweaty. Just the way I like it. I know you're the one for me. I'm sorry. You don't mind if I stop here, do you? Uh, no. You're jogging? Well, just love keeping myself in shape. <laughs> it's murder on my hair, but you know. No point in having the best hair at my own funeral. Ebony. Ebony Brown. If, ooh, if I even meet uh, any girl 
any girl name that that could be a corn category, bro. You know what I mean by corn? Just add, in, insert P instead of a C. Look, I'm trying to insert some P into my life. Some more. I've been working too hard. I've been working on videos. I've been doing all type of stuff, man. I need to meet an ebony. Okay? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I already met her. <laughs> I never tell you, ugly boy. Ah, I'm just wasting time. <laughs> I'm just talking to this. Boys, guess what? I met a woman and she asked me out on a date. Damn. Got it. You get the sword. Hurry up. Get to the car. Where's she at? Do we need to sneak out the back? I like this one. She's different. Your dating life has been a serious threat to the safety of you, <laughs> the people in this house, and really the entire neighborhood. Not really? her. I met her at the park. What was she doing in the park in the middle of the day? Huh? She was jogging. She looking for some lonely old man to take advantage of. Really? I guess it's possible. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to call her and cancel our date. Can you just take it slow this time? And maybe not bring her back here until you're sure she's safe. You know what? Never mind. I said I was giving up on women. And that's what I'm going to do. Maybe your problem with women is you pick crazy ones. But you True. can't hold that against every new woman you meet. Don't you always complain about women who can't let go of their baggage? Don't be a hypocrite, granddad. Be a hypocrite, True. granddad. Okay. <laughs> All right. Decisions, decisions, looking at here we go. Hello there, chimpan, uh, monkey, I, I mean, a negro female. Welcome to... Oh. Damn it, Ruxus, how can you work at all these places at one time? Hello, For Robert. Real. What a surprise to see you here with your... I really just wanted him to answer this question. I know, I know that's the joke, you know what I'm saying? But I really legit wanted to him, wanted him to answer this question. I wanted him to answer this question more than I want Team Rocket off of Pokemon Team Rocket, I wanted them to win. I wanted, to, I wanted, I want them to nab Pikachu ass, beat him up, shake him down. Yes, Mr. Belly Guy, can I speak to you over here about the car? Robert Freeman, I swear, every time I'm ready to count you amongst the smartest of the accursed Sandra Ham, you managed to prove me wrong. <laughs> Won't you leave us alone tonight, Ruckus? You're not going to ruin this for me. We're just going to get to know each other. Oh, really? Really? Well, I'll tell you everything you need to know right now. She oh, got kids, Lord. she got a police record, and she got debt up to her wide nostrils. Oh, well, we'll wow. see about that. But you just leave us alone. She on that Nokia, I've never boy. been here. Mmm, you smell so good, Ebony. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, player, player. Mm, everything looks great. It smells so good, Ebony. Robert? Uh, Is something wrong? Nothing's wrong. Just very excited to get to know you. That's all. Tell me about yourself. He, he's a, bro, you talking about nothing wrong, nigga. The menu is upside down, dummy. What do you want to know? Anything. You can tell me uh, about the last time you were arrested or a funny story about the collection agent or about one of your many, many, many kids. <laughs> I've never been arrested, and I don't have any kids, and I have perfect credit. Really? Oh, baby, okay. <laughs> you said Ebony? Okay, Ebony? I'm well, I'm clicking on your tab. I'm clicking on your tab. Uh-huh. I'm searching all through your tab. Yeah, Ebony. <laughs> it's me and you, baby. <laughs> I love black. <laughs> uh, 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 I need That's you. That's what Ebony wrestling. stands for. Black. Ruckus, Black you're wrong. Woman. No record, no kids, no nothing. She passed the test. She didn't pass the test. She's just smarter than you. Let me talk to her. No, no, don't you go over there, Ruckus. But leave me alone. I gotta go pee. Bro, you, you the one talking to him. I'm okay, thanks. Whew, don't mess it up. Be calm. Take it slow. Mm-hmm. Hot date tonight, huh, brother? Yeah, it's like everything she says is perfect. But I'm taking it slow. Just getting to know each other. Mm-hmm. There you go. Good luck, brother. <clears throat> right, tip that man. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. All I have is a five. All right, I'll take that for now. But don't you think a five is a bit much? All you did All was right. turn the water on and hand me a paper towel. I ain't even asked for it. You don't <laughs> have to ask for that. It comes with the service, nigga. Just like the assortment of gums, mints, lotions, and hair care products. Well, shit. Well, if I'm going to pay $5, let me get a few of them gums. Let me get a mint and shit. But you look like you need one. <laughs> You look like you're yelling like that and shit. Fat lip ass boy, fake ass Jay Z looking ass. And then I'm gonna give me the servant hair care powder and put it on my shit and fuck it up. But I didn't use any of that stuff. I just had to pee. And I'm happy to tip, but a five is too much. Too much. Right, true. For setting a foot and a half away from piss and <laughs> and nasty ass farts from you <laughs> for six hours straight, nigga. Well, I shouldn't have to go to Damn. the ATM machine every time I wanna use the bathroom. Nigga, get your ass away from my commodes. 
Oh, no, nah, you got me fucked up. You definitely ain't getting that shit. You. No, 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 you don't. No, no. Get your ass back. You lucky I ain't allowed to leave this bathroom, nigga. Oh, no. Oh, I always hear y'all complain about a shortage of black men. Well, clearly you hadn't checked jail. <laughs> Jail? I can't do any better than jail? Oh, now oh, you too good for jail, is that it? A jail nigga was good enough for mama, but not good enough for you, huh? <laughs> Look, stop, Debbie, don't listen to him. He's half retarded. <laughs> He's only got one eye. <laughs> no, 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 Robert, Robert, I'm doing this for your own good. Robert, your friend is too funny. What? Huh? I mean, his views are obviously reprehensible, but there's just enough truth to make me examine myself in a critical light. Plus, Damn. he's hilarious and thus oddly likable. Low key, she is not lying. I think that's all. I think that's how we view Uncle Ruckus outside the show. It, it, it's a it's a pleasure to meet you as well, ma'am. So then wow. Jesse tried to say that I ordered the cheese sandwich, what? but then I ate Martin Luther King's chicken pesto. But I always ordered the chicken pesto. Martin started ordering it after I started ordering it. And so Jesse Jackson tried to stand up all oh, swole. Wow. And I said, and pardon my language, you know what, Jesse, I'm sick of you. And then he pulled out a knife and said, nigga, I'm going to cut your nuts off. So I said, <laughs> oh, f it, it's only a sandwich. True story. <laughs> I can't believen it. That actually happened? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that happened to me all the time. I don't think he was playing either. I think he wanted to cut my nuts off. Do you know how amazing <laughs> that is? Do you, do really? you know how amazing your life is? Well, Robert, hope you're not feeling this credit crunch, because you just spent a <laughs> ton to feed this wildebeest. <laughs> wildebeest? <laughs> oh, well, this what? one's on the wildebeest. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He's so so. Oh, what? But look, bro, if a girl offered to pay for your food, offer to pay for anything like that, look, bro, keep her around, G. She cares about you. Here bro. we go. You just won't learn. I checked her out. I'm telling you, she's wonderful. Better than wonderful. You sure she's not gonna hurt anybody? Almost positive. I right, granddad, go ahead. Fall in love again. He's doing it again, Huey. I can see it in his eye. She's coming over tonight, and you two are going to behave. Got it? Why don't you just sign your retirement benefits over to her? All oh, your Lord. bank accounts, too. You just met her yesterday. Shh. What's taking so long? Shut up. And you, you an enabler. Enabling ass nigga. Alone. Leave them alone, bro. Like, damn, <laughs> granddad can't be happy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I understand why Robert was worried at first. There's a lot of crazy women out there. Ma'am, we are so happy you showed up. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Yes, that is a very impressive set of prepared responses. Ruckus, what are you doing here? How did you get in? Right, bro, this nigga, he invited himself in. It's okay, Robert, really. I think it's great that your friends care so much about you. Robert, may I use your little girl's room? So, how did... She fake it. She is just so weird, bro. She is... Just so weird, bro. Desperate housewife looking ass bitch. Like, Tim, hey, Robert, can I go use your little girl's room? I'm going to look up Usher pictures in the bathroom while I'm on the toilet. Tom, you're a bitch. Did you two like, kids what? meet in a park in the middle of a white day? Taking a long lunch? Well, I run a nonprofit organization, so my oh. hours are flexible. Wow. So what kind of work do you do? Well, up until recently, they we raised really money hurt. to find a cure for Patterson's disease. Patterson's disease? I never heard of it. Yes, nor have I. Well, it's a very sure. serious terminal illness. Well, it was a serious illness. We cured it. Wow, you cured it? Yep. I've never heard of one of those foundations actually curing anything. Yes, that uh, show is amazing that you cured that disease that ain't nobody ever heard of. Oh, tell us, tell us, what other incredible things have you done that only you know about? Were oh, you guys Lord. just talking about Patterson's disease? Yes, you've heard of it? You know, they knew they was talking about Patterson disease because you came in there and said, well, I, I, you know, I was, I was looking at Usher pictures on the bathroom and uh, flicking the bean. And I just happened to think in my head, wow, I think they could be talking about Patterson's disease. You know what? I, I'm going to ask them. And then when you come back to the table, I asked them. Stupid ass. Like, what? You know that they were talking about. I never knew that. She cured it. Oh, my God. You saved my Nana's life. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Wonderful you are. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh. Congratulations, it's Robert. Too, too good She's to be true, amazing. Though. Now, now we're just taking it slow. I tell y'all, it's a trap. Beneath that baby, soft lotiony exterior, them wide, inviting hips, and that ample chocolate bosom is a savage, uh -huh. Africanized, pot boiling, like bone in the nose, doing a monkey dance, playing drums, female. Let's get the hell on. You might as well be. 
Didn't oh. I tell you she's perfect? She's the perfect woman. I can't find anything wrong with her. All right, Granddad, maybe she's not a hoe. Maybe she just marry you and take everything when you die. Let's call oh, her a businesswoman. All right, boys, time for bed. Say goodnight to Miss Ebony. Huey, Riley, it was great meeting the both of you. It was quite a relief to meet you, Miss Ebony. That's I hope we can hang out again before you steal all my granddad's money. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, okay, boy. Huey F in there, but oh, hell no, nah, boy. Hell no. You came out this bitch looking like Santa Claus in a motherfucking jumpsuit. Bitch, what are you doing, boy? If Santa Claus was black and he and he ran the Playboy Mansion, ugly ass. <laughs> that belly ass boy. Oh, they get ready to get busy. Uh huh. Put that bunny on her. Put that bunny. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, no. Oh, he got him some ass. Granddad. Can we turn the lights on? I'd like uh -oh. to be able to see. Lights on? Uh -oh. uh, uh, I just put on some weight recently. <laughs> I'd rather keep it very, very dark. Uh, just use your imagination. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, whatever you like. Really getting him some ass. Granddad is actually smashing. That boy gonna. Bus dust, boy. <laughs> they are going on a date. <laughs> I'm so happy for him, bro. He is so happy, bro. Okay. I can't even put this on YouTube, bro. The shit that they show. Fuck around, they hit me with that Berlizzi shit, bro. Shout out to my boy. Look at that, they're having an amazing time, bro. Wait, 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 let me guess, let me guess. And Ed the Third gets shot in the chest. Yes! <laughs> yes. I just love your life. You have these crazy adventures with these bizarre characters, and it's so much fun. Oh, me, boy, looking like Mr. McDougal, ugly ass boy for <laughs> the McDougals, boy, for coming into America, boy, just a little lighter. I never thought about it like that. Seemed like a bunch of problems to me. I love it that you fight people with a belt. I love it that you're friends with a pimp named a pimp named Slickback. I love that Riley thinks everything is gay. I know I shouldn't like any of these things, but I do. Yeah, I guess it is kind of fun. I want to be a character. Uh, what? cameo or reoccurring? Regular. Damn! Oh you're a little nap girl kissing that old man. But damn, granddad, this is what I'm talking about. Granddad about She's love. perfect. She's the perfect woman. What's the problem? She's too good for me. Is that what she said? No, she says she likes and accepts me for who I am. So what's oh, the problem? No. She doesn't know the real me. No one normal can love the real me. I have to do something drastic before I screw it up. I should try to be someone totally different. No, self-sabotage, bro, self-sabotage. I was wondering, like, okay, maybe this woman is crazy. Maybe something's going on. Maybe something's going to happen. Oh, man, granddad is literally going to self-sabotage himself, bro. Self-sabotage himself. Just self-sabotage, bro. You know, like Tyrese or Chris Brown. Someone who's not a dorky old man. Yep, makes sense. And I shouldn't tell her how much I like her. Women like to chase, don't they? Yep. Soon as she thinks she's got me, she's going to move on to another old man to satisfy her sick old man fetish. Nah, she probably just got a young nigga on the side. Another man? Of course. With all these young men with good blood pressure running around. And he's probably be buff too. Yup, real buff. Like Tyrese buff? Nah, like 50 Cent buff. Oh no! He probably spent <laughs> all the time in the gym getting strong. I bet she thinks of him every day, even when she's with me. Especially when she's oh, with you. No, Granddad, bro. this is silly. She obviously likes you. Just relax and be yourself. Myself? Right. Nah, that'll never work. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, uh, I'm looking for no. something uh, like a home in Granddad is finna turn into the crazy one. I don't even want to watch this no more. I just don't want to see Granddad do it, bro. I know he gonna do it, bro. I know he gonna do it, bro. He gonna turn into the crazy one. She ain't gonna fuck with that, bro. Like Kung Fu Killer Wolf is. Advice. Like in the movie. You know, let's see, I have a friend who needs to follow around a young lady friend. Uh, uh, not stalking her or anything. You know, that would be real creepy. Come on. That nigga look like that nigga on the T Valley. So, you just put that little GPS gadget thing in her car, and now we can follow her anywhere. Lord, the white man show is brilliant. 
I do love him and his modern technology, so finally, that which the donkey has done in darkness shall... I could have swore the GPS system was made by a black woman, though. I don't think Uncle Ruckus knows. Now come to life. Oh, the concept. I can't believe it. Why, Lord? Why? Oh! Oh! oh. I didn't know she can do that. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, my God. Look at that. I'm so sorry, Robert. But I told you, that Afro tramp could not be. Ah! Holy ah! shit. Sorry, squirrel. Ha! <laughs> Uh, what is this hmm. nigga jerk? What? I don't know. I don't think I'm a fan of the earring. Well, I like it. It's my ear. I can wear an earring. Maybe two. You saying I'm too old to wear an earring? What's wrong? You seem grumpy. Oh, like grumpy old men, huh? <laughs> I get it. Let's all laugh at the old guy. Oh, man. I just, this is hard to watch. This is what y'all young kids call cringe. Nigga, this is hard to watch, bro. This nigga came out looking like Scooby-Doo and the whole gang. Stupid ass, bro. This nigga got a, a, a this nigga got a Fred, a, a Shaggy, and Daphne on, bro. Is something bothering you? Now I'm too sensitive. Is that it? Huh? What? No, I'm not huh? saying that. I, what? Are you okay? I, oh, look, do you want me huh? to take off? I feel like I'm getting on your nerves. Hey! Hey! Stop looking at my woman! Hey, what the hell? Why are y'all staring at my girl like that? I know she's hot. I know she's got a big, wonderful, glorious behind. But I'm the guy she's with. Y'all think because I'm a pudgy old man that y'all can just look at her when you want. I may not be young. I may not be buff like Tyree. I may not have the pectoral muscles of a Michael Jai White or the washboard ass of a Tyson Beckford or even a your pants. Nah, bro, she he embarrassing her, bro. Like, man, look, let that be a lesson to y'all, bro. When y'all formulate shit in y'all mind, bro, your emotions take over, jealousy takes over, and women do not like that. They don't fuck with jealous guys, man. You know what I'm saying? You cannot be jealous, bro. You have to be smooth. You have to put on your sexy, smooth, suave and seductive voice. You beat his ass. I'm so, 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 so sorry, Ebony. Please don't break up with me. You don't have to keep apologizing, Robert. I'm worried about you. I don't know what came over me. Yeah, I just I feel so old. There's so many younger, sexier men out there, like Bob Boris Kojo or the British sophistication of an Idris Elba. Robert, I don't want to date those guys. I've already dated those guys. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Woo! Thought you was a hoe for a second. Oh man, you <laughs> fought for her. Nobody told you to fight for her. She'll never respect you now. I mean, she probably didn't want to say it to your face, but it's a wrap. Shut up. I'm not listening to you anymore. It's right, a shame, right. too. She wasn't bad. She said she gonna give me another chance. Is that right? How long since she called you? Oh. Hey, it's me. Oh no, no, Granddad. Look, bro, we've all been here, Granddad. Please, bro, please don't start calling or give her some space. Again, I just give sent you a text place. message and an email and an instant message and a MySpace message. And I just put an actual letter in the mail. So you should be getting it in a couple of days. And I also tried to send you a telegraph at the station, but the man said they don't exist anymore. And I tried to page you, but the man said that doesn't exist anymore either. So, uh, just, uh, call me when you can. I'll just be here waiting. Self sabotage. Bro. We are like the perfect couple. I'm starting to look like. Oh uh, damn, bro! You is too old to go through heartbreak, bro. I'm tell you that much. Yeah, she probably just needed some time to herself. Oh uh, damn, granddad. Oh man. Oh no, granddad. Damn. Oh no, she had not called back all day. Granddad, I found her. You did? Twitter? What the hell is a Twitter? Damn, they keep coming up with these stupid computer things. I can't keep up. There should be one damn computer thing, that's it. Well, her Twitter says she's in Malaysia. Malaysia? What's she doing there? She obviously went there to get away from me. Or maybe she went for the inexpensive male prostitute. Oh no, see, look, 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 I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, bro. It, you know what this this is let this let this be a lesson to you look at them look at riley riley is your subconscious bro i i think that i broke down this episode 
you're, the episode is talking about self-sabotage. When men self-sabotage their own self because they don't feel like they're worthy and they let their insecurities get the best of them. I know this sounds crazy, but I feel like I've cracked the code, all right? Riley is literally your subconscious telling you to to that it's like making up all kinds of shit and it's like putting you in a position where you're upset, you're confused, you don't know exactly what's going on. Listen to me. Oh, Miss here. She probably like just a needs girl. a little space. No, exactly. The, Riley is what you're supposed to act like, bro. I mean, Huey. I mean, Riley. No, Huey. Huh? Yeah, a little other side of the planet Huey. space. Granddad, you better hurry before she gets she to the moon. She says she has the foundation. I'm going bro. to Malaysia. No, hell no, Granddad. I mean, that's it's kind of it's kind of like romantic in a sense, but it's stalking shit at the same time, bro. Nice ass. <laughs> oh my god. And make sure those trees get moved in. Ebony, Robert, what are you doing here? Why? Why did you leave me all alone? Oh, no. I mean, I know I made mistakes, but to leave. Just tell, just tell her. Wow, I'm just, I was just working out here, and I. I saw you. It's like, whoa, what are you doing out here? I didn't get any texts or calls back. Not one. Eat forever without saying goodbye. <laughs> Robert, it's been 16 hours, and the flight is 12 hours. Oh, yeah. Wow. Somehow it seemed longer than that. I tried to call, but my phone doesn't work over here. Well, then why did you leave? You didn't hear about the typhoon? Robert, I'm really shocked that you came all the way out here but it's not healthy look at you you look exhausted and stressed and i, I don't know I, I don't want to have this effect on you you don't look happy i'm happy what made you think i'm not happy it was all just a big misunderstanding Ooh. well since i'm already here i might as well help out with the relief effort robert we have to slow this down no let's speed it up let's go faster robert you'll be fine Next week, you'll have some crazy adventure with another woman. Oh, you won't even no, remember this little episode. Bro. I don't know. I'm not too sure I have many episodes left. Mm. Oh, no. The kiss on the cheek. Oh, oh no. Please. She left. What's she at? What's she at? Miss Brown. Miss Brown. Oh, I know she in there, Robert. And I can't hold my feelings inside no longer. <laughs> Marry me, Miss Ebony Brown. Do me the honor of becoming Mrs. Uncle Rucker. This nigga is so fucking fake. He is so fake. He talks so much shit about black people, black women especially. Black men especially, but black women specifically in this episode. And now he wants to marry her. God, she's bro. gone, Ruckus. Gone, gone. What? You, what you mean, she gone? I blew it. <sighs> Is she ever coming back? I don't know. Not for your she ass. said I didn't love myself enough. But that's understandable. You're a coon. Hey, I wonder if Ebony can start one of them foundations in cure revital light go. Oh, she sure was some. I mean, she was an ape, but she was the prettiest ape I ever seen. Oh wow. This is the new Facebook account of Robert J. Freeman. I'm old, but still get around pretty well. I have two bad grandkids, and I enjoy pork, <laughs> orange juice, and watching Real Housewives Grand of Compton. Kind of, uh, no up. bad <laughs> crazy women, please. And don't forget to comment on my pics. LOL. Man, look, I guess that's what you got to do, man. You got to get back out there. I'm glad that granddad is getting back out there. But you know what, bro? I'm Speaking from experience, bro, I've ran a lot of girls out of my life bro i'm not afraid to say that shit i'm not afraid i've i'm i mean your boy get your boy can get females bro i can get female and i'm just trying to tell you one of the biggest things that i learned is when you be crazy you act crazy you act insecure you act jealous it's just not a good look for anybody in your life bro so look if you're a man or a woman but spe specifically if you're a dude bro if you got this girl right now and she's kind of you crazy about her whatever man look let me let me give you some advice look slow yourself down figure out what you like to do personally get you a fucking life and i mean that get a fucking life and after you get a life bro enjoy her company when she's around let her call you let do stuff with her when she's available when you're available when you're not living your life 
my mans, do not do what Robert did, bro. But we all have to learn, bro. We all have to learn. Just don't be like 75, 80 still trying to learn that, bro. Okay, all right, man. That's, uh, uh, uh.